Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, four, three. Damn, that was there we good. go. That's fucking original. At least someone's being original. <laughs> All right, we get to go. <clears throat> All righty, welcome back to the Son of a Boy Dad podcast. We are here from HQ three in our new studio. I hid some champagne behind that picture. Why don't you pop the champagne, Tess? Whoa! Ooh. I'll pass it over to you. I don't. I don't know how to do it. To be honest. Oh, never mind. I can't move it. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> also, I don't like popping champagne. I don't like the why. Because I feel like if you, you either got to go for it or you got to not do it. Did you? Is that a, a joke? And why don't you pop it? Enjoy yourself. I don't want it. Unless you actually got it. It's seven in the morning, dude. <laughs> I thought we could party. <laughs> I thought just us guys could party. Chris in our new studio. Celebrate the death of Henry Blodick. Henry Blodick. Henry Blodick? Did he die? <laughs> no, but something happened with Business Insider a couple weeks ago. I figured we'd pop champagne. Oh, nice. Along yeah. with El Presidente. That would be awesome. Boss man's back in the office just the way that we're back in the office. I feel like he's kind of... He knew that we'd be back in today, so he wanted to be like, oh, I'm working, I'm working. Yeah, he wanted to capture the vibe. He asked about you. He knew it was going to be a whole thing today. <laughs> yeah. Walking he, through those doors. He said, is Sass here? No. He would never do that? I said, yeah, I think so. I covered for you. He, he has my location already on his phone, so he's not going to be asking about where I am. <laughs> he's got an Apple tag on <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, he knows where I'm at at all times. Like he's human trafficking you. Well, it just was getting too much, because we would always be meeting up for lunch and stuff, and now he doesn't have to text me. Yeah, you would always fucking be eating his dick. What do, you think, what do you think a lunch between That's Dave sick. and Sass looks like? The same thing any conversation with Sass looks like. Sass is in Frank the Tank conversation territory where you say something to him and he gives you exactly half. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sass, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> hey, Sass, how do you have a good weekend? What, you do anything this weekend? It's good. Mm -hmm. He'll give you half or less. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound like me at all. It sounds exactly like you. Honestly, I think that Frank the Tank is more gregarious at this stage in his life. Dude, Frank is fucking, I don't know, Frank's a superstar. Yeah. He, have you seen him, like, uh, the other day we were doing, like, a Frank Cooks video, and... Uh, Jenks has like an aversion to cheese. Like Jenks can't be around cheese or something like that. Why? I don't know. I think it makes his tummy hurt or his, his nervous system glitches out like a spider being tortured. He or can't some even shit. be around it. He can't be around cheese. That's a tough one to not be around. Because <laughs> it's cheese is everywhere. Omnipresent. <laughs> cheese is fucking everywhere you go. But he was like, hey, Frank, like I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to like book it. I can't be around this cheese anymore. And what? <laughs> I've never heard of this in my entire life. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. you couldn't even be in the same room as the cheese. What? There was, I mean, to be fair, it was a crock pot full of cheese that Frank the Tank. I don't was, think that's fair at all. It was a cauldron. I don't think I get like, oh, I he can't was eat, brewing I can't, cheese. I can't eat cheese. It was like double, but double I've never toilet heard of trouble. Being like uh, cheese is too much. I can't even be near it. He couldn't even be in the Wait, same vicinity. Was, was Frank as making a fondue? Uh, it was like more of like a cheese dip. Like oh, a, a dip, I see. Yeah, some kind of cheese dip or something like that. But it yeah. was, uh, so he was around this cheese and uh, he was like, I can't be around this cheese anymore. And Frank the Tank was like, all right, but make sure you make some calls. So he was like, he, he released him from being in the cheese vicinity. But he was like, if you're going to stop being around the cheese and not like support me emotionally while I'm doing Frank Cooks, you need to be cold calling because that's what Damn. they do. They're like, well, who are they calling? I think Brands? ad companies. What? Oh, wow. Today he came up, or not like, they're trying to sell ads, so not ad companies. Like he Today he came up to Frank and was like, hey, I have some good leads on some Tops ads. So they're trying to get ads from like, I don't know, fucking baseball cards or something like that. Damn. That's what we need to do. They yeah, just sell their Jenks. own ads? I guess. I think just Jenks and Mikey Betts are just selling their own ads for them now. I feel like Frank has always sold his own ads, though. He's always getting ads from people that no one else at Barstool has ads from. Yeah, like a hot dog company yeah, and shit like exactly, that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you guys just did with the audio made it sound way better. That was a very that was a master stroke right there. Beautifully done. Yeah. I mean, can we sell our own ads? Because if that's the case, you're already dressed like uh, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. So I went to court today. You're dressed, ready to sell ads. How fast were you going? Seventy three and a fifty five. Ah. Why did you go to court? Because to you have a couple of options. One, you just let them decide what the penalty is going to be. 
but it was a six point speeding ticket, six points on my license, which would raise my insurance rates. So you want to save yourself some money down the road. Well, you, you, yeah, you and also you don't want save money. You don't want points on your license. I, th- I think those take a little while to go away. Right. And so I could have hired a lawyer in the town of Greenberg in White Plains to go to do it for me. Greenberg sounds like a town of lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a town exclusively of lawyers. What type of law do you practice? Uh, yeah, speeding ticket law. <laughs> we'll get you out of your tickets because they're Jewish. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, you, yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You get it. Uh, so you went to court, or you can like, go to your go to yourself. Yeah, and, and so you represented yourself. So you went Ted Bundy style. Yeah, but I, they let me tell you, I had to go to the bathroom so badly, so badly, and it was 27 minutes left in the drive, and I thought, well, I'm not going to pull over. I'm just going to hold it, and then that pain passed, but it would come back every like six minutes, how much pain I was in. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. Was it at court? On his way On to his, court. On my way to court. Oh, okay. It took me like an hour to drive Bro, there. we need to check your prostate, bro. I mean, this was just from... I mean, I think drinking a lot of coconut cream cocktails yesterday. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, I thought you were off of alcohol. Oh, you thought that? Yes, you said I'm. I'm restarting July, January. No, but then no. he also said that he he fell off the wagon. Or but got he said on, on Monday when it was me and him, he said I broke July, January, and I'm going back to it. And I said, well, you that doesn't work. I was like, you'd have to go through halfway through February and do the full month sober. And then he yeah, said, he talked me out of it. You talked me out of it. I definitely didn't. You said don't even the, the rules you're trying to apply to yourself are wrong. You well, can't I take the intermission. Yeah, you you told me I couldn't take the intermission on drive January. Cuz that's yeah, that doesn't I said I had right. hit a half time where I went into the locker room and had some drinks. But right. it wasn't even a half time. He drank 3 nights in a row and was like smoking weed and doing blow off of like <laughs> hookers asses. It hookers was quite asses? the half time. Holy shit, dude. That's like a Ron Artest half time. I needed to really turn it around for the second half. <laughs> Cuz I lost yeah. the first time. You lost big time. We were down <laughs> and we needed a boost. You got to shock the system. We needed you a lost little by fucking four touchdowns. Yeah. Well, we were losing. We were down by four touchdowns. We were down by four touchdowns but then the hookers turn it around yeah so i had to go to the bathroom and i got to the court and i ran up the steps and then there's a metal detector you have to go yeah. through and there were two guys in front of me and there was a cop or whatever checking people in and i almost said sir can i circumvent the metal detector to use your bathroom but I felt like that would be really suspicious. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what someone would say <laughs> yeah. if they were trying to go in and fuck shit up. Like yeah. that guy who tackled the judge. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, he actually just had to pee or he told everyone that he had to pee. Yeah, so that's yeah, what... he had to go bad. Have also, you seen... he got diagnosed with prostate cancer <laughs> like last week. Yeah, because his prostate was the size of a beach ball. Boy, that guy said. is really losing a lot. I know. Did you see him in the next court showing? No. Dude, they had a muzzle on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is his head in like a Ziploc bag or something fucking, like that? He had the fucking uh his head was like the an shining. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the guy's name? Oh, it's uh, Hannibal. Hannibal. He had the Hannibal Lecter fucking outfit on. That's it's pretty like good. full on straight jacket and like a cage over his face. <laughs> <laughs> and so what? They didn't let you uh No, they- I then I waited and then I went and then I said is, I went through and I didn't get dinged. And I said, "Is there a bathroom?" He said, "Yeah, right over here." And I went, and it was one of those situations where I was like fumbling with my pants, ah, ah, really, to get them off. And then I, halfway sitting down to the toilet. I mean, it, it, I you was peed or you shit? Uh, shit. Oh, okay. like oh it was, God. it was like coming out. So of you, me we're talking about I, you shit this whole time. Yeah. What did you? Th- I thought you were I talking about you had to piss. So you have colon cancer, not I don't know prostate why, cancer. I don't know why <laughs> you thought that. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what i assume dude yeah having to shit like that is way worse than having to pee like that yeah 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 and yeah. where would you have even pulled over like pee I, I was figuring you could pee, pull over on the side of the road or in a tesla there's probably a <laughs> compartment or something that sucks the <laughs> urine out of your out of your dick it's but like a catheter for your ass <laughs> you need an ass catheter <laughs> elon if you're listening brother we need ass catheters stat <laughs> <laughs> well i came out of the bathroom and then the next person went in and then I was outside of the bathroom, and then I could hear 
how loud everything that was happening in the bathroom was. Oh, because they make those courtroom bathrooms out of like marble. They make them yeah. cacophonous. It was so, the walls were really thin and I realized that someone, I, everybody outside could hear the percussive display uh, that I was putting together, the symphony of bodily. What do you, what, 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 what kind of sounds are we talking like, about? Just like, you know, I know it. You know, like somebody Give breaking into a home. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was much more violent than that. It sounds like much the more violent. Breeze going through tall grass. Well, it's like, initially there. Yeah, it was like a. It was like I was throwing up from my ass. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, those are the worst. Yeah. yeah, and then I was thirsty, and I went to the water fountain and put my mouth over it and hit the button, and it was way more pressure, and it got all over my shirt. And that's a thin shirt. So I had to go face the judge or the, the prosecutor having created a very loud and and obvious shit display and being soaked from like my neck down to my belly button. Is the man who took the massive shit in the courtroom today. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like pointing you out. <laughs> and this, this was all I had tried to put together an outfit that would walk that line of like... I respect the legal process and the sanctity of this hall of of jur you know juris jurisprudence, prudence. but I'm also not so wealthy uh, as to think that a a fine on my speeding ticket is is an easy thing. Some you know middle but ground. I feel like there. you already show that when you show up to court for a speeding ticket. That you need that that you're not wealthy enough to just wave I mean, it if away. If you drive to court for to try to plead down your speeding ticket in a Lamborghini, they're going to slap you with a... Yeah, but a also height of the biggest that fine. has a Lamborghini is probably not driving to court to shut down a speeding ticket. It could be. Right? I don't know. So your, your ass is soaked in shit. These yeah, pants were... shit ass and you got a see-through uh, shirt on. Yeah, these, this, these pants were originally white. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. And um, they just took one look at me and they immediately said... All right, good news. We're going to plead you down to a fire hydrant parking violation. No points. What? Oh, damn. Well, that's nice. And then I got greedy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And I said, how bad will the fine be? And she said, it's steep. Zero to $400. And I said, I'd prefer if it were closer to zero. <laughs> and she said, she laugh? well, why would we... Do you have anything, like, any reason why that's the case? And I said, I've never gotten a speeding ticket before. She said, I'll make a note of that. But the judge decides. Anything else? And I said, well, I was passing a 18-wheeler truck, and there was a curve coming up, and that's why I accelerated to avoid the danger to get past that truck. And right as the nose of my car came out from the other side, that's when I got gunned down by the state trooper. And she said... Gunned down. She said, I'm not crazy gonna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy choice of words. <laughs> yeah, she said that. Uh, I don't. I don't really think I'm going to note all of that. Anything else? And I said I don't really believe that I was even going the speed that he gunned me at. <laughs> Ooh. And she said, "Okay, faulty technology." And she like she wrote that. Damn. These were things that I was coached to say, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Who coached you? I know a guy. Who's, the local oh, lawyer. Who's a police officer. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the cop is the better person to get the. Uh... But I got I got rid of my points. That's good. Congrats. But there were I mean there were guys in there who were I mean they didn't look good at all. Bad shape. Like going. They to just jail. like they, they didn't dress up. They were wearing sweatpants, ratty shoes. They had to be told to take their hats off. Ooh, scum of the earth. Yeah, they probably have a separate room for them where they get blasted by the cops, gunned down. Whatever we were all happened, going to the whatever, same room. That but, was that was good. Whatever just happened, that was good. We were all going in the same room, but I could tell that the prosecutor was more happy to see me than she had been to see the others, because I said good morning, and she looked up and she went, "Good morning." I feel like that's all judges want. I feel like judges are the pettiest fucking some bitches in the world. I yes. feel like they're all just like, "You're not going to make a mockery of my courtroom." No, but unfortunately, I didn't even get to see the judge. This was just the prosecutor hmm. who then passes on like, oh, we've reached a deal so that you don't have to actually adjudicate this. So what was the final deal that you got? I'm, I'm going to get the fine amount in the mail in two weeks. And then I have a month to pay it. What if you get the mail and they're like life in prison? 
we're on our way to pick you up. Then right we're now. probably <laughs> hiring a lawyer. <laughs> Something came up. Uh, <laughs> oh, remember that toilet you used? The next seven children that used it died. <laughs> Noxious <laughs> fumes. There was an E. coli outbreak traced to our court traced room to bathroom. Your asshole. Do you think that's ever happened? Do you think anyone's ever gone to, gone to court to like do something like that, and then they just end up going to prison? Well, I think that guy who attacked that judge, yeah, probably, probably made things a lot worse for himself. Yeah, but what was he getting? Does anyone know what he was in court for to begin with? He went 16 miles over the speed limit. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> he was going 70 in a 65. <laughs> Um, and they gave him life. They threw the book at him. It was nasty work. Oh. He was trying. Did you see the part where he was trying to plead with the judge beforehand? No. And he seemed very composed. And he was like, I'm a changed man. Look at the range, man. I got a whole new game, game plan. plan. <laughs> um, game plan. <laughs> did you like that? I did, yeah. I, 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 I So if you... <laughs> I mean, when you do that, no matter what, no matter what it is, like if like if you went in there and you were just getting a speeding ticket and then you attacked the judge, you're going to jail. Typically, that's crazy, dude. Why for that guy? Why he let his emotions get the best of him? It would probably get so frustrating at some point where you can't help but yeah, to attack dude, the judge. I'm sure something was happening that was really fucking annoying. The judges are assholes. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's the judge's fault. There's no way it was just like it was a normal. It wasn't like it, there's no way it was like his his experience was similar to yours. Where they were like, "Morning, how's it going?" And then he just fucking charged. There's a muffin the basket. Judge. Over no, there. <laughs> but I think Enjoy he was help yourself to our complimentary. There's some and Can you get you some coffee. <laughs> cream sugar <laughs> and then he was like is this decaf and then he jumps over and fucking kills the judge i, I would bummer. i would love if you just got a life in prison uh letter in the mail and you had to go on the lamb you had to get like a coyote to reverse break you into mexico it would be <laughs> huge for the podcast <laughs> it'd be incredible we, like, would... we wouldn't want to actually see you go to jail but like the idea as like maybe if it lasted for like a week. If you did the race, if you did yeah. the race like Take and just yeah. were on the run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just fucking were on the lamb for we a little Zoom bit. We called you in. Man, I would get so jacked in jail. Oh my God. It's kind of what I need. I, I can't stop eating shit here. I just had three slices of pizza and I was planning to eat a salad for lunch. What are they eating in jail that all these dudes are coming out just fucking jacked? Because uh, I would imagine the portions there are not that it's big. NO Explode, like I think. Putting on muscle. I think that's all they're having is Jack 3D and NO Explode. <laughs> you can buy stuff from the commissary. Oh, okay. But it's like Fritos. Like protein powder? Uh, you, I don't know. No way it's protein powder. <laughs> no. <laughs> they have those like Quest protein chips. Yeah, they have whey. You just That'll be a 14 bunch of coupons. <laughs> oh, it's 17 shifts in the laundromat. Yeah. Can well, I pay you a bunch of... Ba- I want some cigarettes playing cards. <laughs> we, we, talk, we were talking about... Were we talking about the night of recently? Yes, we were. Yeah. And I don't know if we've ever talked about how the dude goes into jail skinny as fuck uh-huh. starts smoking crack and comes out and he gained like 30 pounds of muscle have we yeah. talked about this before yes well, he we was did. lifting weights a lot yeah but he was smoking crack yeah but the crack doesn't always <laughs> just make you skinny i don't think it makes you stronger but it de- uh, no i think it makes you lean as hell but he gained so he gained lean muscle <laughs> crack you <laughs> but he was probably <laughs> like i think he was probably not you know he probably was doing crack in moderation. Just a little taste. And and focusing more on his body. He was doing it once a week, like how you smoke weed. He was just like yeah, was, yeah. he was allowing himself just to he was crack like on as that a treat. Like, yeah, he was on the Kyle from from full send uh schedule. <laughs> yeah. He was like California sober. Yeah, yeah. He Six was days jail a week, sober. He's in the gym. <laughs> and then on that seventh day it's just a crack fucking buffet. A, a crack bitch. Is that what Kyle from Full Send did? Yeah. He's like doing I think he's doing like uh just one day a week of crack. One day a week of full sending. <laughs> Which is tough for a full sender. What right. does that mean? What it? It means that like you just have like maybe <laughs> six happy dads uh, Monday through Saturday, <laughs> and then come Saturday, you crank it up to the full case. <laughs> <laughs> you crank it up to the full fuck happy dad it was cake. funny because he posted like something on Instagram like this like which was supposed to be like super motivational and he was like I was like at my lowest and then it's like and now I'm only full sending like once a week <laughs> Is he the really jacked one? <laughs> no, they're all like jacked, but he got in really good shape because he stopped drinking so much. Oh, I see. But, but it's but just he... funny to be like, I was going to kill myself, and then I cut back on my full sins. 
I was watching the <laughs> UFC fights on Saturday, and it was like Kyle from Nelk. Yeah. Bef- and then it was like George Bush. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, those guys are they're at every single UFC event. Yeah, Unky Dana. Yeah. We got to get we got to start gambling with Dana. That's my goal at the Super Bowl for all three of us. I'm going to try and gamble with Dana White. I'm You're going? Huge... Yeah. You he's got the going. look? He always gets the look. Oh, I know, but he was saying he wasn't going to. Oh, dude, he's like the third person in I know. I would have thought what 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 happened to I us that Brown's not going? I was lying. I lied to you guys. I wanted to seem like I was fucking slumming it. Like it's like your fucking speeding ticket shit. You made plans for us to watch the game together. No, not the game. The week. Oh yeah, no. You oh. for the- I'll be back for the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just there for the week. Okay, got it. Got so it. I'm gonna try and gamble with Dana that that week. That's fine. But I'll be back for the game. I saw Great. something that Dana White. Yeah, I saw a clip, a clip of a podcast. Like for his Super Bowl parties, he gets he'll go to like a. A fucking sports book, and he'll get like a hundred prop bets. Yes, and I saw when that. You walk in, you just grab one, and you just get the slip. A couple people make 300, 400 bucks. Yeah, it's honestly a great idea. What a great fun party I favor. Know. That is fun. That's so fun. And, and then he like slaps the shit out of his wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when his when his loses, that kind of went away quicker than I would have thought. Then anybody who loses gets to slap Dana yeah. White's wife. <laughs> 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 Fuck, he's not gonna let me gamble. Fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, you're really jeopardizing your, your chances of getting invited to the Dana White prop bet party. I'm trying to because didn't like uh, Taylor and Will they like gambled with him or like oh, yeah or like Taylor like stayed up all night and like paid Dana's like debt or some shit some shit like Dana, that. Like, Dana lost was down half a million like dollars grand and then like won it back and then no Taylor won it back for him was like here here's two hundred thousand oh, yeah, dollars yeah. I won this for you Jesus the Christ glazing. the glazing is out of control <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I hope Dan I don't know I could see myself just really partying with Dana White me and him just in the war room together you him just Steve will shot. do it me him Steve will do it Tristan Tate just a couple of fucking killers <laughs> Killers row. <laughs> the dream blunt row towel. <laughs> the fucking absolute legends. Just talking about fucking Steiny. how much we hate women. Yeah. Steiny. Yeah, Steiny would not be allowed in the war room. Shitting with on Steiny. Steiny buys you a Van Cleef. You fucking dub him. Don't I, hang out with him. I keep seeing this these clips of this the same dude who's like one of those guys, like, but he like was trying to be one of those guys. He's not really one of those guys. And he uh and he's talking about Tristan Tate, who I guess is Pat, Pat, what's his name? I forget what his name is. Beverly? Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate. Oh, I yeah. looked at the Pat Bev thing and I said Pat for some reason. It's his brother. Yes. And he's yes. like, uh, he's the same guy. He's like, I find out uh, Tristan Tate, he likes this kind of whiskey. Three hours later, I'm in the war room drinking that whiskey with Tristan Tate. <laughs> and it's a group of like skinny incels around him and they're like, no fucking way. <laughs> it's crazy. Who gets the whiskey? I don't know who. I, it's pretty. It was a pretty bad story. If I'm going to be fully honest, yours yeah, the, or the yeah, one mine, that you watched. Mine. Oh, it doesn't really work when you don't know anyone's name involved in the clip. <laughs> <laughs> I think it illustrates their just, overall relationship you're just pretty well. The, you're just explaining a conversation between two people that you guys don't know, and I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know the name of the whiskey. <laughs> I saw some clip of Andrew Tate. I, I'll preface this by saying there's been a huge blowback on ice bass coming into the top of this year. There's like a, a if there's a civil war in the United States, it's going to be over fucking people who do ice bass and people who are tired of people oh, yeah. talking he about was ice, bass. On ice bass. Andrew Tate was like, yeah, "You're never going to see me in a cold uh, in a cold yeah. plunge, be like shivering. Like, what are you gay? Are you gay if you're shivering?" He was mm. fucking flaming people. That's for, that that got me on his side. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. And I think he's going to be one of the generals in the war against fucking ice baths. 100%. But then he's, that, he's going to go, have to go against Rogi and them. The funniest part about that is that they're, like, his Huberman. whole fan base is dudes who definitely use ice baths. Right. And they, there was probably like 7 million ice baths just in a dumpster. Dudes who are like slashing their that. ice baths like tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when people fucking Kid Rock, drain AK-47. Their... <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be fucking cold. <laughs> like when people drain their uh, above ground pools. Yeah, <laughs> just stabbing the side yeah. of it. <laughs> do they do that? Yeah, I've never. You've ever seen those videos? Mm-mm. It's just literally it'll just be a dude cutting it, and then like they, and then someone's inside of it, and they fly out. They're what? very fun videos. Well, it does sound fun. It's probably them throwing them away. I doubt they're draining them. I reached out to an ice bath company. I won't name it, but I reached out because I want one, and um, I don't care if you don't want me to have one. 
Oh, I don't care if you have one. But you it's said Andrew Tate that's, oh, that doesn't okay. want you to have one. And I hey, said, if take there, that up with Top G. That's not me, bro. <laughs> if there's any way I could get like a, a discount on this, so I'll do some posts or something. Try to be an influencer. I just got my trough package yesterday. Very good. Very good. Tell me more. <laughs> well, you got one. A while ago. I got one. I know. Probably the same thing that you got. <laughs> Did you get the assortment? I got the assortment and then the, the pasta sauces. Alrighty, let's talk about Babbel. One in five Americans have learned a new language on their bucket list. If that's you, make 2024 the year you finally check it off the list with Babbel. I was in a I was in an Uber with Tommy Smokes recently. Do not ask me why, but he's been learning Italian on Babbel. So I took his lessons with him, and it's a very cool and easy way to learn it. Like they have like lessons, but they're kind of like they gamify them in a very fun way, and. I I learned how to say, do you want like a coffee with sugar in Italian? Or how do you say shit? it? I think uh, a, a zucar with sugar. Zucar. Okay. Zucar. A zucar. Some well, shit like that. That's, you can get that from Cafe Babel. con zucar. <laughs> All right. Don't pay hundreds of dollars. I learned for it. I forgot tutors. it. I I learned it for a small amount of time, but then I yeah, forgot. Exactly. You didn't what spend a ringing of endorsement <laughs> for all that Italian you learned. <laughs> If I spent more than two seconds learning it, I'd be How do literally you say fluent it? by it. <laughs> it did sound like Italian. It did, right? And I feel like yeah. that's half the battle. And ba- Babel will get you to the... They're going to have you ordering coffee with sugar. My problem is I don't like sugar in my coffee, so I was like, I can discard this. Yeah, but you that was the one that you picked up, so that's smart. <laughs> no, it was the one that was being taught that day. But every day, I mean, you can basically pick your lesson plan. You can pick the the, the type of language you want to learn. I heard Kelly Key's trying to learn French today. I'm trying to learn. I, I did try to learn Arabic a while ago. So well, you were going to be in the CIA. Yeah. But that's a whole different, a different story Yale, for a different day. Yale, Michigan State University, and others continue to prove Babel is better. One study found that using Babel for 15 hours is equivalent, is equivalent to a full semester at college. What? My God. Babbel has over 10 million subscriptions sold, plus all of Babbel's 14 language courses are backed by their 20-day money-back guarantee. Wow. Here's a special... Limited time. Limited time deal for our listeners. Right now, get 55% off your Babbel subscription, 55. but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash sun. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash sun, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash sun. Rules and restrictions may apply. Are you going to use those? I don't know if I'll use the pasta sauces. I'm going to make a steak, I think. Though, Did you get the, the mayo? No. Yes. Hey, what, 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 are, what are you guys talking about? We switched from my Sorry, story bro. to his story because he <laughs> brought it up. Well, we were talking about brands. If we're talking what's about truff, brands giving what's us truff things truff for sauce? free. Bro, you know truff. Truff is hot, hot sauce. sauce that is truffle, truffle oil infused. infused. It's delicious. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of but course. Did they send you the olive oil one? Yep. Have you used it? No. I'm going to try that out tonight, I think. I also haven't used the mayonnaise. I haven't used the mayonnaise. I worry it's going to expire. It probably already has. No, mayonnaise doesn't go bad. Glenny Balls has had a a crate of helmets on his desk for literally six years. (laughs) I swear to God, it's a crate. And I think it's getting more appealing. I think mayo is probably one of the first things that goes bad. No, it's not until it's refrigerated. Yeah, if you open it, then you Once you you open it, it's like a Cabernet. Ah. And he has a vintage Hellman's. <laughs> that's good. That's going to be worth a lot of money. <laughs> the 2017 was an incredible the old year. <laughs> Before they stopped adding pigeon toes Age to it because the FDA came down on them. So did did they let you uh, influence? Well, here's what the weird thing was. And, and I'll, I'll just read you a quick thing because I thought I was like talking to... This is a big brand. This is a big, big brand. And I'm DMing with them. You got to get Jenks on your butt help you out with that. <laughs> yeah, you need Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. <laughs> Does he do that? Yeah, Jenks. You got to talk to Frank first, but I'm sure Jenks could help you out. You'd have to pay. It would be a kickback to Frank. You'd have to give him a little taste of the action. This is what. This is where things get weird, right? I'll just be fully transparent. All right. I said, hey, guys, I love your ice baths. I'm in the market to buy one for myself, and I'm considering the plunge bath. Are you open at all to marketing collaborations uh, and then they wrote, we have an affiliate program. It sounds like you're seeking a discount on your purchase in exchange for some marketing. And I said, yes, that would be awesome. I realize it's an obnoxious thing to seek, but if you don't ask, you don't dance. And then they just started like talking to me like I was their friend. So this stopped being like brand stuff. 
Um, what they say back That's just the ice bath culture, though. He goes, what if we signed you on? It was an icebreaker. What if we signed you on as as an affiliate, offered you a 10% discount off the price, and upgraded you to a pro at no extra charge? And I go, well, that sounds generous, but I don't have the budget to pay that much. It's a Hail Mary for me since you guys are the top of the line. Um, I have some fun ideas, but I may just not be in the ballpark with what you guys can get the price to. And they wrote, that makes sense. Most people are disappointed in our affiliate program. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? And then they go, we do pay 8% commission on all referred sales, but 90% of our affiliates never make enough in commissions to repay the initial cost of their tub. (laughs) Jesus. And then I go, oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that was part of it. You would have be- had to become a, a tub salesman, a door to door tub salesman. And the, like a pyramid and, and, scheme. <laughs> I asked for the difference between the normal and the pro, and they go, the no- the big difference is that the pro makes more ice. You probably don't need a pro. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, ha ha, goodness, I've done it a bunch at thirty eight degrees, and that felt pretty good to me. And they go, ah, exclamation point. When you get acclimated, anything over thirty nine degrees Fahrenheit is boring. Smiley face. <laughs> And then I go, I think 35 might be my sweet spot. And they wrote, makes sense, exclamation point. And then I wrote, you guys do make the best tub in the game, right? And they go, ha, 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 ha. I'm even. not making this shit up. We make the coldest, cleanest, and safest, not the cheapest. Damn. And they're like sending smiley faces and stuff. My point being. Yeah, not the best sales. This was not a marketer influencer conversation. It I'm- was like me talking to a buddy. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they just sent you a link for another company. They're well, like, that's where we're headed now. The best? You guys make the best ice bath? Not even close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. It was Ours like- is way overpriced. <laughs> man to man, this one is a better value and a better tub. Not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Man to man, because I like you. I've been talking to you for one minute total, and I like you. Look, Frank. I can call you Frank, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Fanny, listen, baby. <laughs> you seem like a, like a trustworthy guy. Dude, the funny part is, I'll just be totally honest. This is the Morozco. So this is the one that Rogan <laughs> endorses. This is like the, the Rogan endorsed one. And it's like $12,900 for the base one. And they said they're going to give you 10% it's off. $12,000? You could buy a for car. Their one. But they said they'd upgrade me to the Pro for free, which is 19 Dude. So you're, you're going to buy that? And I said, that? what's the difference between the, the normal and the Pro? And they said it makes more ice. I was so, like, you can't fit more Francis, people in it. Or, no, I'm not buying it. Didn't I you hear my fucking... To buy I just told you I'm not going to fucking <laughs> buy it. What, did you think they were going to give it to you for free? I thought maybe I'd get half off. You would have bought it for $6,000? Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's it. I would have thought about it. That's crazy. Well, look, not $6, all of us... $6,000 for a tub of ice? It's amazing what you can afford <laughs> you when you work me. more than one day a week at Barstool. Me. You told me it was going to be too expensive. <laughs> you told me it was going to be too expensive for you to go to the gas station and buy ice every day. <laughs> You could have done that for the rest of your life. And it, it wasn't, wasn't a question $6, of expense. $6. That was a question of uh, the chore being too... You said, you said your refrigerator wasn't big enough to hold the ice. You could have bought in four fridges for two through $6,000. I don't want to do that. Ha- the hassle. That's a hassle. Oh, dude. That's crazy. Six grand? How much is the one that Will Compton has? The just the the, the can. Like five. Now I'm gonna look at that one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to them. Oh, do these things? Pl- My buddy has one. It's fucking plastic. We can't have that. It doesn't look good. Oh, dude, this is this is bad. You've you've you're, you're involved in it. I don't judge scam. you for the fact that you don't spend any money like at all. This is like crypto. And you can't judge me, therefore, for spending money how I want. I'm not. Spend I'm it. not judging you for spending money. Spend all the money you want. <laughs> spending six thousand dollars. Or twelve thousand dollars on but an I ice bath. Didn't you hear me? I said it's too. It's out so of my budget. So he would be getting ten yeah. percent off, and it yours? was a nineteen. 19th... Mine is my tub. Mine is I put I I put uh, Ziploc bags full of ice, frozen Ziploc bags in my tub. Uh, yeah. But you're lugging. Where are you getting that ice from? I'm freezing water, a bro. Ziploc bag full of water in my freezer, and that creates enough ice to change the temperature of your bath down to a level that is ice bathy. I mean, it's freezing fucking cold whenever I get in it. I don't. I don't put a. I don't put a thermometer in. If I just took the ice dispenser that we use to like make drinks from our freezer and I dumped all of that into a bath, it would barely change the temperature of the water. Well, so how maybe, big is your tub? I don't know. Normal size. Normal size, or is it like a two person, three person? What are we? Certainly, w- my bath at home. Yeah, is it a one? I live person in New York. Has jets. 
has like what four jets and the staircase. Well, in the yeah, middle of you it. guys live in New York. I don't think that like what's well, the tub's LED lights which take up most of the space? The underwater speakers <laughs> and the flat screen that make on the it side hard it. for ice to stay. I, do you think they're ever gonna? They're probably gonna get to a point where they're just gonna start making tubs that just have like a freezing option. That would be cool. Some of these tubs, these ice baths that you can buy, have the option to become both cold and hot. Are they better? And that's $12, cool. dollars. That's cool, right? Because you could then have a hot tub and a cold tub in one. Yeah, that's fucking. That's definitely. That's that's amazing. What <laughs> if? What if? <laughs> that's crazy. Because my shower only gets hot. It doesn't get cold. <laughs> uh, I wish I could actually say that that's not true. My my shower only gets hot. Mine gets fucking freezing. You cannot make my shower cold. But quick question. For $12,000, you get cold water or hot water. <laughs> Listen to me. Picture stop, that. Stop, stop, stop doing this. Shut up for one second. What if you read a list of health benefits, and I'm not being this guy, Yeah. but truly that said, like, if you buy this thing, it will do this, 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 this. What if it said that and you'll kill at comedy? What if it says that you'll be a fucking absolute demon in any room you walk into yeah like what what if presume that the cross that bridge what if what if (laughs) the health benefits of of ice baths were true wait yeah but what are the health benefits i don't know like fucking better mental health better sleep less inflammation like less soreness shrinks your scrotum down to a hacky sack things that i actually struggle with Right? Yeah. What is an amount of money where e- even if it said it was going to cure all that shit? Like 400 bucks. <laughs> See, that's where you and I differ. Like, I, I, I think that the pain I have in my body, if this is actually an efficacious solution to that. What are you in pain from, though? Playing sports. Too long. He works out hard, I'll be honest. I was in the fucking gym. Francis walked in the other day, and he was fucking... He he did eighty five burpees in a row. Was doing like sit ups with a fucking forty fives on either side Is of a barbell. True? Yeah, but Roan was doing like one handed kettlebell stuff. Roan's that was like the so workouts. incredibly nuanced that yeah. I was more impressed by him. Roan's very into the new wave of working out. He I'm into that freak shit at all. I'm I'm on some absolute freak shit. I actually went harder because he was there. Oh yeah, I wanted him to think that I I am a, a maniac. Were you letting out any grunts? Probably, and he yeah. didn't have headphones on, and it made me very self-conscious. All I heard was the grunts. That's Goggins style. It was like... Uh, no headphones. There's not going to be headphones in the war, brother. <laughs> yeah. Yet, yet, and yet there are. <laughs> Literally. No helicopter tunes. pilots have no to tunes. wear no fucking... No tunes in the war. <laughs> I mean, they're not listening to music, maybe, you don't, but you they're... Can't, if you're training with exterior motivation, what are you going to do when that's gone? It all that's comes from inside. Says. It all comes from my brother's grunting that's why next I to me. Thirty thousand dollars for my noise canceling earplugs. <laughs> no exterior motivation <laughs> whatsoever. They just bark goggins at you. <laughs> even so, even using goggins, I feel like is using exterior motivation. So, it is. like listening to goggins is an anti-goggins. Like goggins wouldn't want you to listen to goggins. That's yeah, a little bit, a lot of bit. You know what the things are that you should spend a lot of money on? There's a couple things. Bed, so. prophylactics. Bed, yeah, prophylactics. Bed, TV, couch. I think those three right there. Yeah, but TVs aren't really that expensive. To They're not, with. but that's why you shouldn't be feel feel bad about paying like an extra four hundred bucks because those are the three things in your life that you probably sp- commit the most time to. You spend so much time on your couch. You spend so much time in bed, and you spend a lot of time watching TV. So you should yeah. maximize those. And you need a good headset. Uh, probably like a uh, just a decent a decent like again LED setup for yeah. your f- and a good gaming chair because mm-hmm. that's where you're going to spend most of your yeah, time. Yeah, you need that. I got a great chair. Do you have good stuff? I got great stuff. I want to put you in contact with my guy Tyrese Maxi. I feel like you guys could do some damage in Warzone duos. I Bro, like I, we've been over this a thousand times. I don't need new people to play video games <laughs> with. I just thought I didn't know if it was a Pat Bev thing. It was kind of a test to see if you didn't want to play with Pat Bev and you would play with. Uh, a guy that averages more more points than him, or if it was just the no, I have no doubt that Pat Bev is good at video games. I see what he does on the court. Wouldn't be surprised if it reflected on the screen. But I don't. It's more just like once you're out at war, you want to be with your brothers, <laughs> not strangers. <laughs> you know what I mean? You wouldn't. Like, take... You don't want to be dropping into a war zone with like someone you wouldn't someone take who candy from. Spoken to. But you barely speak to anybody. You barely speak to the people you know and love the most. I speak to my friends constantly. 
I'd like to I'd like to see some proof of that. Don't you think at some point you should make more friends? If Tyrese Maxey said I want to become friends with you, you wouldn't allow it? I'd think about it. You guys are same age and everything. I I, on, I honestly have no idea who Tyrese Maxey is. Is he a basketball player? Yeah, he's a Sixers guard. He's going to probably be like an all-star starter this year. He's just uh, he stepped up since they traded James Harden. Stepped up in a big way. He's really Dang. good. Scores a lot. What team is Josh Giddy on? Uh, he's he plays in the minor leagues now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that at his? Oh, OKC. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that they all went to that high school? Yeah, and he didn't go. Uh, obviously not. He was yeah. probably already linking with somebody under the bleachers. <laughs> I got a shirt. I got a Josh Giddy shirt. I ordered it two days ago. <laughs> it's, it's Josh Giddy, and then it's Chris Hansen next to him. <laughs> <laughs> I you think you got like a jersey? No, yeah. no. I'm pretty pumped on it. It was only 30 bucks. <laughs> Where did you get it? I just saw it on Twitter and I instantly bought it. That's hilarious that you're yeah. just flaming a basketball player. You don't even like know what you couldn't pick. Yeah, it's just a, a funny shirt. Yeah, it's very yeah. funny. Wear it around the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, where are you going to wear it? <laughs> I'm not going to wear it outside. That's for sure. It, it, dude, uh, any shirt that you buy on Twitter, it's guaranteed that it's going to come and it's going to be like, a fucking piece of printer paper glued on to a Gildan tee. That's like a size XS. Yeah. <laughs> the sleeves stop before the end of my shoulders. Just a tiny little gay shirt. Yeah. But it's going to be sick. And you have a daughter. So, I mean, you, you can't exactly. take... you got to be able to fucking flame Josh We got to get him out of the league. We seriously do. Is he going to get to a point where he's going to get so good that people are going to be like, stop bringing that up? He is. He already... I mean, he was on a great trajectory to be really good. Has he fallen off since everything came out or has he gotten better? Mm, I wouldn't say he's gotten better. Fire. I, don't, I wouldn't say he's like walked through the fire and elevated. He hasn't used the crisis to as a springboard, but he didn't come out and say, "Listen, I know a lot of people are saying bad things about me, but I just want everyone to know I'm gay." <laughs> oh, that's a good. The one. way Kevin Spacey, Kevin Spacey, did. Spacey yeah. fully old Kevin Spacey. <laughs> yeah, they were like Kevin Spacey. What are what's up with you fucking kids? And he's like, "Well, first off, I'm gay." <laughs> Allow me I to take this moment to uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. say something that's been bothering me for the last 40 <laughs> years of my life. Well, I was struggling he... with this in a big way, and uh, I'm gay. You guys wasn't there stories of him like going to bars and like grabbing and, ev- and everyone was like, yes, Kevin, that's fine, but <laughs> can we address our first question still? No, he was... You no, know, that's a witch hunt then. If you, if you address the first question, that means that you're hunting him down because he's gay. Because you don't like his man boy love. Oh, now he's got that out there. And then anything else that comes after that is persecution. Yeah, 100%. It's like when women go to work and they know there's a Full very stop. good <laughs> no, go <ahead. laughs> policy of like, if you, it, the second you get pregnant, you tell your job that you're pregnant. Yes. Because then you can never get fired. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We're talking loopholes. Loopholes. We're talking of a societal loophole that he got through. Well, he's good now. They dropped all of the charges against him. Did they? Because the family that he uh, destroyed wouldn't cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> right? Isn't that what happened? Yeah, but yeah. now the NBA is looking into it. They are? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how, how they're going to look into it in a way that like the... <laughs> <laughs> that they caught. the cops the family couldn't. that he destroyed <laughs> dropped the charges no they're starting a new podcast on uh just media oh nice <laughs> yeah it's gonna be sick that's huge that family it's go- they're gonna it's gonna rule um speak i want to talk about something in the stand-up world um have you seen this new stand-up comic uh natasha legero yeah well, i know her is she the one that took her shirt off? Yeah. yeah did you yeah. see that? I did see that, yeah. I why thought it was she, funny. Why did she do that? Because she went up after Bert. Oh, she just did what he did? Yeah. That's funny. But then she made some big post about it being like, male comics are allowed to take their shirts off. I yeah, like, I don't think, I don't think anyone was stopping her from taking her shirt off either. No. She's also very good looking. Yeah, that was my problem with it. She's married to Moshe Kasher. Mm. And she used to date Ari. Really? And then Ari punched bobby lee in the face oh yeah 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 because he thought bobby lee was trying to date her there's a story about this He's trying to date her at what like against her will like take her <laughs> from him or her. or maybe maybe they'd broken <laughs> yeah. up and i don't know there's like uh, there's a funny story online about this yeah yeah i i've heard of it yeah yeah interesting yeah i was just shocked she did, she did oops the pod she's great really yeah. she's pretty big I, I, shirt I don't on or? yeah she kept it on it's too bad. She's she's like she's done a bunch of acting. She used to do the roasts. 
She was really good. She in the was roast. great at the roast. Yeah. I just think it's a nasty move to make all the young men horny like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that was cool at all. Imagine having to follow that. <laughs> Be tough. I take my pants off. All right, I'm bringing up this next comic. He's from uh, Barstool. Give it up for Francis Ellis, everybody. Yeah, you'd have to pull your cock out for sure. That's exactly yeah. what I just said. Or be your asshole. You took my joke. I don't even think cock would be enough. I don't think you even heard asshole. that I said <laughs> I the did. joke. Yeah, you said I took your joke. You said you'd have to take your pants off. Yep. And I took it to the next level, saying you'd have to show your asshole. I think you'd have to show your asshole with like shit coming out of it. But you think that it's that you think that it was is like, that what LA comedy's like? Yeah, that's the new LA comedy style. <laughs> you have to show a fucking turd emerging. Yeah, you giving birth to a fucking turd. We need to see afterbirth. But yeah, I was just shocked that uh, that 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 was making its rounds like that. But I yeah. guess it's fine when Jason Kelsey does it. True, and everybody has a problem when she does it. I only exactly. saw the edited pi uh, picture, the one censored. So now I'm gonna. That's have all to go I could find the... too. Oh really? <laughs> Yeah. Is there actual real one? I don't know. There, there has to be. There's video of it. Oh. But do you think that the one video <laughs> <No>, is... <laughs> no, what was cracking me up was... I saw a photo somewhere of it with like a fucking like... Like a 4K camera. Which means whoever was photographing the show did not hesitate to just be like... Tss, 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 tss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's an iconic which moment. Is, yeah, with just like a black bar over her. Dude, bicycles. I've been... There's, there's been... It, it must be an old clip, but it's of these women in France protesting with their yeah, like topless. That. Yeah. And there's like... There's cameramen who are just like... Like news cameramen who are just like backpedaling but yeah. like one inch away oh, yeah. just like Dude, fucking lens to i did <laughs> i did i walked i marched with the free the nipple parade horny bastard bro. and it was like a lot of topless women m marching through new york city and i marched with them and covered it for barstool and i'm not kidding you there were guys that would come up to the side of the parade take they had like telephoto lenses and they would take like Bah, 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 bah. And then they would pull back from the crowd, run a hundred yards ahead, and wait for it to come up, and then hit it again. And I'm like, do these guys not know about porn? How is this? You should have fought them. They are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> these guys are. This is like the biggest day of the year for them. Francis, I feel like we're really glossing over the that you marched with the free the nipple. Yeah, do you not know porn exists? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Why were you doing that? It, it was uh, for Barstool. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, okay. I thought this was just like it's just another detail that I included in the way that I fucking described you it. Never and said you Barstool. said, yes, I did. <laughs> did, he did, he did. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. That's crazy, though. Did why did you have cameras on you? Yes. <laughs> so you were doing the same thing. We were blurring them out. Well, you and it was to. like me doing man on the street and I had cut holes out of my shirt. So your nipples were free. It was free. meant to be solidarity and be funny. But yeah. I, all I ended up really doing was, you know, shining a light on the perverts that were there. <laughs> yeah, that is fucking insane. And there was one little Asian guy and I was like, hey, man, what are you here today? And he was like, I love fucking titties. That's awesome. He's like, yeah, let's show me tits. And I'm like, well, what about, you know, raising breast cancer awareness and stuff like that, which I think was the main reason for it something like that yeah. but at the same time they are playing on the public's love of breast like they that are. is that, that that is uh but there was some tacit there were, agreement that we have there were there. some guys who were really like making a meal of the blurring the lines of the goodness <laughs> yeah just getting right up in there. <laughs> yeah they were <laughs> i fucking hate <laughs> breast cancer <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah free the fucking nipple <laughs> <laughs> Me and Owen one time were walking down our street when we lived in Hell's Kitchen and there was a girl walking towards us and we were like, well, we were probably like a hundred feet away and we both noticed and we were like, that girl is fully naked and she just had some like massive security guard next to her filming her as she walked down the street with her breasts out. Oh, but not bottomless. Not bottomless, mm. but it I'm was very odd. I'm tired of everybody having a fucking security guard. Oh yeah. Like, do you do you are you been following this uh, this neon and like Vitaly shit? Yeah, those guys. But those guys are uh, real life streamers, right? Yes, but all they have is fucking security, like the biggest security guards at all time, so they could just be like obnoxious little shits and just be like, "Are you fucking serious, bro?" 
like fucking little bro really thought that he could do that to me and like that nothing will ever happen and <laughs> you know what i'm talking about i know Neon exactly what you're talking about i don't know explain who it to francis it's just like irl streamers who are like these dudes that go around and they just stream constantly every single you know like andy milanakis yeah yeah he, he used to do that i think he just re- he stopped because he's like these guys are little fucking yeah. cornballs but they just go or, like that dude that shut down union square oh Kai swirl or swizzle Kai Kai Senate. That's it. But I don't even think he's an IRL streamer. Yeah, he's like a regular streamer. These guys are like dudes who will just be like hunched over, like on their phone, but like they'll go to like the store or something like that. Yeah. They'll be like, "My chat is saying you're famous." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, chat, who is this guy? Chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate it when they talk to chat like it's a fucking like sentient it's a being. Yeah, yeah. It, mm. it makes my blood boil so badly. Who was what? What's like the the really old video of the dude who? uh who's he's like IRL streaming and he's uh he's in like a target and he gets a donation and he reads it out loud and he's like I think I'm about to steal <laughs> cuz that's what the donation said have you ever seen that video no that's hilarious it's so funny and then and he doesn't like realize what he's saying and then everyone just looks at him it's very funny the dude neon so he's like this like 20 year old uh like pretty skinny kid and uh he's dating an only fans girl huh? and uh, this dude Vitaly is like an old YouTuber, um, like old, probably like they, my age, and uh, he and he went up to him and was like, uh, he he showed him pictures of his OnlyFans girlfriend getting fucked and asked for autographs of them or something like that, Oof. and they got in some kind of like little like bitch ass like baby. It was it wasn't a brawl or like I didn't they just see like, this. I think that's how it all started, and hmm. then maybe somebody. I don't know. Someone almost got arrested or some shit. It's the I can't even believe I know this. Actually, I need to kill myself. <laughs> I don't know any. I, I never haven't seen kill any myself. Of this. Fuck. Fuck. I, I haven't had. Uh, I haven't had like a reference point for anything <sighs> the two of you have said for about ten minutes. This is like this is like uh, like the shit that we were saying about like Andrew Tate and stuff earlier. This is like that times a thousand. It's like they these people are like. They just say like fucked up shit, and then they have like fans that are like twelve years old who just like follow them around all day, every mm. day, and like physically follow them around. Yeah, like in person, like they like track them. But it's... also, these people have like ten times the following of like yeah. any comedian. Yeah, right. they're like the biggest people. I don't even know how, but streaming has always been like that. Hannah Burner just announced she's doing a Netflix special. I saw that. It's B- crazy. Pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. The flicks. You know, you can buy. Your tickets on Game Time? Really? Tickets for Francis Ellis Comedy. I was like looking through Game Time. You could buy Hannah Burner tickets, but you can also buy tickets yeah. to your shows on Game Time. Do you buy them for Harry? Probably not. Oh Mine are pretty accessible. <laughs> Just on the website of the show. <laughs> yeah. There's You've no used, resale. He's used like uh, crypto software to make sure that his prices <laughs> don't get diluted because he wants them up. Yeah, uh, yeah. he needs him up there. He Whereas Francis, is, actually, yours were going for it was like sixty some dollars. Yeah, yours I had are a friend of mine. I had, a, I had a friend of mine once who texted me. He was in Chicago and he was supposed to come, and he had googled my tickets, and they were on one of those websites, and they were like two hundred fifty bucks. And he was like, "Dude, like we want to come, but I, this like, is there any way you can help us get some?" And I'm like, first of all. Let's take a second and talk about game time. I mean, you heard it here first. You can buy tickets to sporting events. You can buy tickets to concerts. And you can buy tickets to comedy shows, specifically Francis's shows and not Lil Sass's shows, right there on game time. It's so easy. The way that I like to do it is like, okay, sometimes I'll, I'll be in town for this weekend. What do I want to see? And you can scroll through all of the options. It's the quickest interface. They have the best prices. You pick where you want to sit. It is the best ticket buying experience that I've ever had in my life. And it's not even close. You know what mm-hmm. I like too is if you look at an event, then they give you notifications later. Yeah. And that same, like I looked at uh, the Chiefs tickets that one time when it was like last week when it was freezing. Yes. Then they hit me up and they were like, there's. Bills and Chiefs are playing nearby. Yeah. Have tickets now. I think it's my favorite interface. Oh, uh, such a smooth interface. just makes it super so easy dang to smooth. buy tickets to the very thing. You I like how when to. you get football tickets too, it shows you where you're going to be like looking. Yep. It yes. shows you the view. Yeah. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Two taps. It's so simple. It's so straightforward. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account and use code BOYDAD for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, Create an account and redeem code BOYDAD for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. 
people keep asking me if I charge or do uh, meet and greets. And the answer to that is uh, just come say hi to me. I would never charge anybody to say hi to me. I think yeah. that's crazy. But you're also, you're right. You're, yeah, you're just going to be there after the show. Yeah, I'll come out and say hi. You'll just be there. Just come say hi to me. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty you normal. Want, if you want and you feel the need to do something nice, uh, bring me a pie. <laughs> that's what people have been doing. And I love that. <laughs> From like a good bakery in your town. Strawberry rhubarb is my favorite. If they don't have that, just apple. Especially if there's a crumble. Damn, that's a great demand to start making Pie, I love pie. What do you do if you get too many pies, though? You can't get too many pies. So say we do Denver and it sells out. Yep. It's a lot of people coming to those shows. Yep. What if, say, 10% of them bring pies? 10%? Yes. What if 10 people bring pies? Pe- flat out. Yeah, what if there's I mean, 10 yeah. pies? Or just well, 10. then I'll probably ship some home and freeze them. Which you is exactly why I don't have room in my freezer for making ice for ice baths. But what if you put those pies in a uh, plastic bag? Yeah, frozen pies, ice? and yeah. then you just. Do you think I want to fucking take a bath with pies floating I mean, dude, around? Sometimes you gotta improvise. Frozen pies that are <laughs> defrosting around me as I do de- it might be inflate nice. my joints. What I mean, if it like does wonders for you? What if you have to like call a puberman and be like, "Listen, the fucking rhubarb <laughs> have you has tried completely the, exfoliated the pie." therapy what it is is this is gonna sound fucking nuts hear me out (laughs) hear me out okay as the pie crumbles around you it completely (laughs) enriches the the methylation process i mean couldn't you technically use anything that's cold like anything that's like frozen like couldn't you just use like a bag of frozen peas yeah but they they will they will come to they'll thaw yeah but if they're in a plastic bag uh uh-huh yeah They'll come to thaw as probably as fast as ice. This is a good. It's a good question, a chemistry question of like, well, ice is obviously becoming part of the bath, but um, is there something about it being able to whatever infuse with the water that makes it bring the temperature down faster than something that's separate like a bag of peas? We're suckers for not a bag like of pie, <laughs> bag of pie, <laughs> bag of six pies. Yeah. We're suckers for not being able to capitalize on this somehow by selling like high end ice, like bath yeah. ice or some shit like that. We need to figure out a way to get in on this this absolute racket, this like cultural beanie baby style, like Furby style fucking uh, strike while the iron's hot moment. Like we need to be on top of this shit, selling fucking barrels or some shit yeah. or like tubes that people can get in in their like studio apartments or some shit like that like we need to find a way to be making money off of this because there's people probably getting rich maybe we should make like son of a boy dad like ice ice makers yeah son of a boy dad ice cubes like not a bad idea trays yeah yeah oh those are the molds yeah yeah Yeah. and we could use them you could say these are good for both cocktails and for saving money on ice baths yes Let's get Pilar. You know what would be a really baller move is if all of your ice cubes were the shape of those like ones that you put in a cocktail, like the ball. Big ball or the big square. Or the cube, yeah. I've been trying to figure out how to make clear ice for a while at really nice cocktail restaurants. What water you use? Distilled water. Yeah, but it's probably frozen for less time. It's something like that. There's a specific way to freeze it. They said that if I were to take one of those big igloo containers and lift the lid... And then freeze all of that somehow that the ice that forms on the top is actually because it's like it purifies the the ice. It's clear. That would be so funny if your ice bath was just one massive cube of ice. (laughs) (laughs) Just a cooler sized ice cube and then you next to it. (laughs) <laughs> like you can't fit in. You're just lying like lay on top down until it. I slowly <laughs> sink farther and farther into it. That's low key what I'm doing with these huge ice cubes that I put in, gallon size ice cubes that I'm throwing in there. How You're often are you doing it? Though. Uh, a couple times a week. Wow. wow. I don't think it's that crazy. I think it's the, literally just the fad of the of the, our time. I t- I messaged Taylor Lewan about it, and he gave me a lot of good recommendations. I'm sure his ice bath is fucking insane. Yeah, he's, he's a got walk a nice in. house. No, his, <laughs> yeah, his, his is the five thousand dollar one. His is the five thousand. Damn. Hey, man, it looks come. nice. Damn, is he all right? Yeah, what's Does up? Bro, need some cash. I'll talk to Dana. So <laughs> hook him up, get him on back. Get him back on the table. I know he doesn't have the Morasco. Yeah, but the the one he has looks Scandinavian, which is really cool. It does sound. I'm cool. surprised he's not at a point where he just had one already. Football players were like the first people to be doing yeah. this. This was yeah. like this is years and years of them being in the ice tub. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. They would, and they were getting two brush at a time. Oh, yeah. They would, they would like, double side it. It would be the big metal one. Mm. Yeah. Just them playing footsies with each yeah. other's balls. Yeah. Ass naked. Nothing gayer than being a football player. Do you go full nude? No. I do. I mean, at home in my, in my in your bathtub, bath yeah. I do. You know what just occurred to me? Is I think I remember a scene from watching Last Chance You where they were doing ice baths, but they would just fill trash cans with yeah. water and yeah. ice. Yeah. Which is where you realize, like, oh, yeah, that really was a last chance university. But I think that that's all you actually need, too. Like, the fact that these companies are selling such a high end product for something that you could do in a trash can. Yeah, but I don't want to sit in a trash can. <laughs> Well, I'm D8. But you're essentially, they're making fancy trash cans for people to sit in. Yes. And that's why we need to get in on I this. I want the Scandinavian teak wood that <laughs> yeah, will weather over cans. time and not break down because it's outdoor friendly. What's the uh, what's the warranty on these things? Years. Years and years. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So if you like fall out of your ice bath and it cracks, <laughs> ice What do you think you're everywhere. doing in there? I mean, dude, I saw Will Compton's. That thing looks like you could, if I was, I mean, you're very vulnerable in one of those. From for what? What what are you vulnerable? Viking attack for just a simple tip over. It's filled with it's water, like which makes it very heavy. I would just give it one of these, and then down goes Will Compton. You would do that from outside. Yes, you're going to attack Will Compton's ice bath so easily. Something tells me that's not going to go and you're over very well. Extremely vulnerable. Ooh, that would be a sick like video series, though. Bros tipping each other's tipping ice, ice baths. baths. Yeah, <laughs> tipping ice baths. We're just cutting them, cutting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slicing baths. I mean, that's like that. That would be a. What, that's got to be a pretty like humiliating, just to be tipped over with just ice all around you, just hard on the pavement. You ever try to? You ever try to tip <gasps> over a trash can filled with water? I have not. It's impossible because of how For heavy some. it is. You know how on the when you're <laughs> when you're driving on the uh, freeway, and at an exit there's those big yellow containers. Those are all filled with yeah, water. Yeah, 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 To like slow your, yes. if you're like driving into, if you're about to drive into a scansion or some shit like that. Yeah. They're mm. filled with water. Have you ever and seen someone hit one of those? I've seen videos of it. I saw someone hit one of those. When Live? I was, yeah. I was with my mom. We were in like Boston or something going over a bridge and some dude smashed right into one. It exploded with water. It's kind of awesome. Probably not bad though. Like it's not a bad crash. It's definitely humiliating. Oh yeah. Just it's like a good oh, I'm water. so. Yeah. yeah. It's like a Nickelodeon type yeah. of thing. Yeah. It's like in the Francis in the court. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you had to drive and good get home just sopping wet. <laughs> yeah, I heard they filled with with GAC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they should film it with the you're saying the Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah that would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just gotta take the drive of shame home. <laughs> yeah. Covered in goo. Well, Amanda Bynes and Keenan <laughs> yeah. uh, Keenan Keenan and Kel laugh at you. That'd that would be, be funny. Incredible. Yeah, that would be. They don't do funny enough shit with fucking local traffic. No. That's where a tax dollar should be going to. Gak. Yeah. 100%. It's good old-fashioned pranks. Have you guys seen what uh, Kanye West has been doing to his fucking uh, big-tittied girlfriend? Mm-mm. No. Last I saw, they, he was like trying to make her look like Kim Kardashian, though. He was. And now he's like parading her around in like public in like long skirts and like the smallest bras and no shoes. Like He has her in the mall with no shoes on. He's like walking her around like she's a goat. What's up with like really famous people always going to the mall? <laughs> yeah. Don't you think they would just be able to just like get Amazon get anything at any time? <laughs> like, what is Kanye West going to the mall for that he to can't just seen. have someone being delivered? He, he literally is yeah. his displaying his his like uh, shoeless girlfriend like a fucking piece of art. Yeah, like he's walk like he's Andy Warhol walking a anteater around Manhattan. <laughs> Well, that sounds problematic. I'd love to imagine Kanye West just sitting in his like hundred million dollar apartment and being like, "Shit, I gotta hit lids today. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hit Auntie Anne's. <laughs> I heard Mrs. Fields is cooking up something nice. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I gotta get to Zoomies. Let's hit Spencer's and fuck around in the back of the shop, play with the dildos. Kanye bringing his his girlfriend out of Zoomies with like a fucking a Vans flat brim or some shit would be hilarious. The Cookie Monster flat brim. Yeah, Cookie Monster on Bianca Sensori would be so funny. We got to go to t Sports Authority, to pick yeah. up the latest T Max. We're gonna buy some DVDs from Sam Goody. You don't know? Do you know if Sears is open on Sundays? <laughs> We're gonna. Buy, I have to return a knife block. Yeah. <laughs> I need a small fridge for my daughter's dorm room. <laughs> yeah. Oh my! I, I have no idea why they do that, but yeah, they were in like a pu very public mall. Just people, and they shut down a store. 
So and then there's people just like gathered outside taking pictures of them, surrounding yeah. them as his girlfriend. I gotta show you guys the fucking pictures Did of you them. ever used to go to the mall just to like hang out when you were younger? It was so far away from where I lived. It was I mean, so far, thirty five minutes. Yeah. But that was a long way to have to get your yeah, mom yeah. to drive you that we I would probably go maybe once every other year. At and best. Just post up. Well, uh, you know, yeah, and there'd have to be a good reason for it. Oh, we would just go and just clown around. I wanted to, but we never could. It was always weird, though. One time we went and my buddy brought a girl that he was dating, and then it was all the rest of us. It was just boys, and they were holding hands, and we were walking, and that felt really fast to me. This is the video of them. Whoa. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. It's that that's an offensively small bikini. And she's barefoot? Yes. Wearing like a long skirt. He has her just on fucking display mode. Wow. That's from this weekend. And then this is this is from today. She's driving him around. Oh Jesus. <laughs> she has a gimp suit on. <laughs> she's driving him around in a gimp suit in like a fucking Tesla truck and fucking Do you I, think gimp suits are comfortable? She looks super comfortable. She yeah, it looks almost looks futuristic. <laughs> it's got to be like good for like cold weather too. Well, this is good gimp. Yeah, she's probably sweating it out in her gimp yeah. suit. She's probably like cutting weight. Like if you're skiing in the winter, if you had like a gimp suit as a base layer, <laughs> you're probably so warm. And then like a ball gag to like yeah. keep the saliva yeah. in your mouth. Yeah. Honestly, you don't have to worry about the fucking snot and stuff. There's functionality of a gimp suit that's like completely been washed away by the kinkiness of it. Yeah. The the problem is, what's your apres ski gimp? <laughs> Dude, that would be such a funny sketch. What's the apres ski gimp? Get suit? ready with me. <laughs> we should make that. That's fucking hilarious. I was gonna do a get ready with me for court today. Oh really? I think I might still. That's hilarious. Yeah, that would be great. But yeah, apres ski or yeah, go, going skiing and <laughs> yeah. Be like, so a lot of people have been asking me what I use for a base layer, I, and then just not even acknowledge it's a gimp suit. <laughs> Be like, believe it or not, I was actually at I was at Spencer's gift shop, and I was uh, I stumbled upon this, and I mean, it is just really warm. It's yeah. a it really keeps you contained. It's a carbon latex blend, <laughs> <laughs> and the red really pops on the <laughs> this red ball gag really pops on the mountain. It's got a good zipper, so like when I'm trying to when I have to pee, I don't have to go f all the way down. I can also zip my mouth shut, yeah. to keep my lips from getting chapped. I get no windburn on any of my face. I'm, you know, sure, it's a little tough to see, but that's why I bring one of those blind skiing instructors with me to call out the turns. That's really funny, just with like music in the background. <laughs> that would be funny. You should do that and just say, say like, just sprinkle in that you're going to court for some like terrible crime. But just being like, so today I was thinking I'm going to go with the white, the white button down. Pants by Johnson and Murphy. Yeah. And do you want me to do the gimp suit? No. Just like for oh, the you moved on to court. my idea. Yeah, yeah. That was the idea. Yeah. 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 Double murder. <laughs> <laughs> double That's breasted like... suit for the double murder. <laughs> what is the, you know, the dude that, have you guys ever seen the video of the dude who does the uh, before they were famous videos? You haven't uh -uh. seen that guy? No. You haven't seen him? Like, he'll do, like, Kendrick Lamar before they were famous. I don't think so. And he does, then he'll, like, once they, then once they're, like, really famous, he'll do, like, a redo, like, another one. And they'll be, like, after they were famous. And he's like, a lot of people have been asking me to do another video on Kendrick Lamar. I did that video. My first video I did that, I did say the N-word, and I am very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How did he, in what context did he say the N-word trying to describe Kendrick know. Lamar before he was famous? Let me find this. <laughs> This young was running around Compton. Like, what What could he have possibly said? What else? What else? Your bills lost? Your bills got smoked? Talking ball. Yeah, they did. It sucked. It, it, I, I don't know if I was more bummed that the bills lost or that the Chiefs won. I have no problem with the Chiefs, honestly. I wanted the bills to win. I bet on the bills, etc. But I don't, I, I'm okay with the Chiefs being a dynasty. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, that that loss really sucked. Why? That did was you, a heartbreaking loss. Did you see that dude crying in the yeah, stands? Yeah, I felt bad for him. I kind of was like surprised that they put that on camera. And then they went back to him. They're yeah. like, "Wait, get this get this girl out." They got the more time. Sit down, yeah. sit down. We have to film this man crying. Did you um think that the refs cost the game? To no, them? not at all. I thought that the pass interference on the defense was very iffy that one call, but I don't think that was like I mean, dude, to be honest, Pat the way 
Josh Allen played great. Patrick Mahomes was playing phenomenal. I think the way that even if they hit that field goal, I think it's crazy to think that Patrick Mahomes wasn't going to go down and score again. Yeah. He was scoring in like, like two minute drives. Does uh does it strike anyone else as weird that we we use his full first name Patrick Mahomes or just Pat Mahomes sound a little bit too androgynous or or it sounds like a kind of or it sounds like a fucking like cab driver in Dublin or some lady. shit like that yeah, yeah. Pat, <laughs> Miss Pat Mahomes yeah. <laughs> sounds like the yeah the like president of the PTA it has like a short curly haircut and a massive fupa <laughs> I don't even know who to root for now the Lions I'm rooting yeah Lions, li- Lions for sure. Lions, but I mean, do the I don't know. I guess the Lions have a chance of beating the 49ers. Yeah. But does 49ers anyone, does barely anyone beat... have a chance of beating the Ravens? Chiefs. Chiefs, think? Yeah, I mean, the way the Chiefs are playing right now. Chiefs in the playoffs? Chiefs. Chiefs. I mean, the way the Ravens played against the Packers after, like, they got warmed up. It's like, dude, they're so... they're they're. I think they're the best team in the Wait, league. What do you mean that the Ravens played... Oh, yeah, you're right. Who did? They didn't play the Packers. Did the Ravens play the Packers well, on they Saturday? Played the, they played the Texans. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Packers played the the Niners. The Packers should have won that game. Yeah. And that was talking ball. It's talking ball. That was just this guy talking ball. I don't know. There's not really much to say. That loss sucked. I was fucking... Uh, that was the first time I've ever had a loss where I just sat in silence for fucking 30 minutes after. Mm. Just, I mean, I had a guy had some great bets. I hit every dude. I put I put in a bunch of bets on Friday. Don't say, on you, don't say you hit everything. You fucking had a plan to oh, take us from totally two hundred dollars yeah, to five thousand dollars, and you <laughs> fucked everybody I totally over. Forgot about that bet. <laughs> there was people. Oh my god! Like you had a fucking Frank's Army style dude, following behind that. I was getting DMs from so many people, so mad at me. Yeah, you fucked us. It's crazy to get mad at someone for like not having the right pick. It's like, yeah, dude, I didn't think that fucking both dudes I bet on were gonna get season-ending injuries. <laughs> Like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, Gus Edwards gets hurt with the hand, and I was like, fuck, that sucks. And then and then the first thought after, like, the first leg of a parlay loses for me is always like, this is going to suck if all of these hit. A, not, or no, I guess Jamar Gibbs, Jameer Gibbs scored. But, dude, Debo Samuel got hurt, like, the first drive of the game. Mm. Imagine if Gus Edwards did score. And then Debo How much hurt? more that would have hurt. I was hoping for, like, that. Because I thought Debo was out or something like that, like I've or before the game started or something. Really? Uh, so, I, or I was just hoping that like they would refund our bet because he wasn't playing or something. I thought we like were gonna that. get voided for sure. I thought some kind of voiding yeah. was all I was hoping for, which is a sad state of affairs when you're hoping for the void. A lot of people they don't they don't void though they, they don't void off around. Yeah, bro. Last time I got a void was Demar Hamlin, who was the star of the fucking show last night. That's not what you were saying in, in the group chat. You were saying that you wish he stayed dead. Oh, that's crazy. I would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> After he didn't pick up that first down. Dude, that was like, and I know people have used the joke so many times. Every, everyone's saying that, that Sean McDermott thought it was a Disney movie. But it was like, <laughs> dude, that was, I mean, that that was like, I, I, there's no words for that play. I mean, he didn't even, I don't even think he got two yards. Oh, the fake punt? The fake punt to DeMar Hamlin. Yeah, that was bad. I mean, I was like, I, like, and luckily they got the ball back, but it was like, I, I, like, I, was, I didn't even know what to think when that <laughs> happened, dude. I was like, what the fuck was the season on the line? <laughs> and they have DeMar Hamlin run a fake punt? Yeah. For dude, he's like it would have been better if the if the dude if the punter ran the play. <laughs> like that's what I feel like that's what fake punts usually are. Or like the so. coach's son came yeah, out. If, dude, if we're just I mean, doing like uh, I mean, that was crazy. Like handed to a, a paraplegic in an electronic wheelchair. If we're just going to be giving <laughs> away fucking random. And it was like fourth and three. Just have Josh Allen run it. Yeah, or they could have gone. Yeah, there were so go many for other it, things dude. they could have done. Don't run a play. Ham- I mean, dude. Has he ever been like a good like like has he ever been like a fast dude? He doesn't play offense. He plays defense. <laughs> I mean. He plays a whole different position and hasn't be- he's been like a healthy scratch every game this year. And then the most high leverage situation they get they can't give him comeback player of the year. I understand he lived and I'm happy about that. I mean, dude, it was Did you talk to your Buffalo brethren? No, I haven't talked to anybody. Except for Gardini, who is convinced that it's my fault that he didn't win his bet. <laughs> I think it might be, honestly. Gardini texted me yesterday and said, what's put Bill's money line for everything? And I said, 
I th- I said I think we should take Bills money line and parlay it with the over because I think the with the history of these teams the over is a lock. The over hit easily and then the Bills didn't win. And then Gardini's telling me it's my fault that he shouldn't have taken my pick. I'm the the my half of that bet hit. You're going to have to take that up with him. I'm just expressing my feelings right now, but we squashed the beef. There's no beef anymore. Good. How'd you squash it? What'd you guys say? We just started fucking chopping it up about other shit. Comedy? Uh, I don't even remember, to be honest. This the dimensions like of the room ago. that you guys were in? Huh. Ceiling height. Read the read the text. <laughs> read the text messages. Now. You catch any fish this weekend? Absolutely not. Pussy. It looks cold. You were cold. It was cold, but it was nice, dude. It was very nice. It was New nice Jersey? being out there. Yeah. It was, uh, it That's was your sunny. ice bath, honestly. Yeah, it was sunny, and there was really only a couple dudes out there, and uh, the water level was back down to normal, so it wasn't like anything hectic. I can't wait for us to go fishing. Yeah. In February, uh, the weekend of like, I think it's the 17th, 18th, or something like that yeah, in Albany. Albany. Yeah. We're going to go. So come to those shows. Yeah, come to Albany, come to uh, Denver, Denver the weekend before that, and then I've San got Fran. Pittsburgh this weekend. Pittsburgh this weekend, Philly coming up for Francis. Dude, Pittsburgh is that room is so big. Yeah, and it's like it, it's selling well. There's like there's a show that's got like 220 tickets sold, and it's 60 percent. Wow, like oh, tough, tough, uh, tough assignment. Yeah, and then Houston the week after, which is like 460. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So it's that's like, that's like if well? I sell 200 tickets, I, that means that over half of the room will be empty. Yeah. Selling tickets is fucking hard, dude. It's hard, man. Well, yep. good thing you made that high effort video of you fucking fishing and trying to sell tickets. That was a high I effort did. for you. Yeah. That was a good plan. Yeah. yeah. I actually got a lot of tickets sold from that. <laughs> I did. Like 200 people clicked on the link from that. Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's, that's the name of the game, bro. Uh, I'm all is... in on the promo now. Yeah. Selling my soul. I got uh, I got upgraded on uh, my flight home from LA. Delta One? Yep. I had dealt. I had main. I had, you know comfort plus or whatever, and there was one Delta One seat left, and I was number one on the upgrade list. Damn! And then they, I got to the airport early, and the woman at the front desk was like, "I said, is I tried to charm her, you know, I gave her a box of like uh, those cake pops from Starbucks. You bought them for her? No. No, I was gonna say that's what <laughs> you really tried to charm her. I tried. That would be hilarious. Because I went up to her gate. at first, and I go hi, and she goes. I need my computer to boot up. Give me one second. And so I stood back and waited. And then her computer booted up. And she didn't say. She starts she didn't typing. summon you back forward? She's typing. So I knew it was booted up, but she hadn't been like, yes. So then I went, hi again. Like that. She goes, what can I do for you? And I said, well, I need this. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And she goes, I can't, I can't give you that upgrade until we start boarding because we have 20 minutes until we start boarding and someone could buy it between now and then. Mm-hmm. And so then I stepped away and I kept watching as people kept coming up to ask dumb questions. And I was judging by the how expensive their like handbags were, whether I thought they would actually buy the yeah, yeah, yeah. thing or not. And they didn't. Nobody did. So did you, did you get upgraded on your phone or did you scan the ticket? And I went back and paper. they printed me out a ticket. And they were like, just use this, even though it said Comfort Plus. And then it rang up as Delta One. <sighs> Nothing uh, better than when you go to when you scan the boarding pass and then they print it out and it's like first I remember class. the first time that happened to me. Coming Such back a good from feeling. Vegas. So cool. Like, Lucky winner. I've only gotten that on 30-minute flights, though. Yeah. Wait, that's why. I, so I'm happy for you, but I was even happier for Colm. Oh yeah, I know. Call him. Call him saying that he was he's the first person in his bloodline to fly first class <laughs> <laughs> on a twenty six <laughs> minute flight. He's the front front. Uh, <laughs> he's the front, front row. seat front row with yeah. his bag between his legs. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> I was so happy. He for was him. live updating. He was like, "It's coming down to the minute." Uh, yeah, you got the upgrade. That was hilarious. Where was he going? I don't know. I think. Oh, I think uh, coming home from Indianapolis. Oh, gotcha. It's a short flight. Yeah. <laughs> Still happy for him. Nice. He's a Me too. Fucking legend. Me and Colm's show is back up and running as well. In so Tuesday nights, Tuesday come nights. see come see Harry out at uh come see Harry and Collie out there. Downtown social. Um come see Francis at the cellar stand. Mm-hmm. Denver Comedy Works with Sass. Denver Comedy Works with Comedy Sass. Comedy on State, Madison, Wisconsin, and Albany. Denver Comedy Works is going to sell out, so get your tickets now because there's going to be a bunch of people when it sells out who are like, can you squeeze me and my friends in? Yeah. No. No, it's not going to work. I wish I could, but I can't. 
I will be walking my dogs <laughs> in the morning. So you can come see Roan in Brooklyn. I'll be walking my dog. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for listening. Pittsburgh this weekend. Please buy tickets. And I, I will be walking my dog. And Roan will be walking his dog. Thank you. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Goodbye. Sweet. Let's hit these ads. Hey, guys, let's talk about Rough and Rowdy for a second. Oh, we're back. <laughs> yes, sir. Hell rough and yeah. Rowdy. On Thursday, you want to watch this because we're coming back to Providence. I think it's the fourth time in Providence. Damn. Rough and Rowdy 23, Super Fight 4, and they're lowering the price to 20 bucks. 20 bucks. This is not me reading any copy. This is me speaking from the heart because I know how good of a product this is going to be. Bobby Lang returning mm. to, I mean, B. You know, Lang. every time Bobby Lang fights, you know it's, it's going to be it's incredible. Awesome. Grab your wang. It's B. Lang. There's, a, mm -hmm. a, there's another little person's uh, championship that they're going to have. It's uh, There's a, a little person that looks like 50 Cent that's named 25 cent damn uh, i'd give him a quarter honestly that's oh, yeah. worth it that's worth the price of admission right there because yeah. it's 20 bucks and it's on a thursday night which means that you have your entire weekend to yourself first off you could order it watch it on video demand or you can just lock in have your thursday night and then on friday night maybe you're going out you're going on the town maybe on saturday night you're, you're having a nice dinner maybe on sunday you're watching ball but that's fine because your weekend has been opened up because you launched into it the perfect way by getting r and r buying rough and rowdy um, pay-per-views available on buy and and replay is available through the following week. So come watch New England locals settle their feuds with fists and spit. It's going to be a night full of pure disrespect. Are they guaranteeing someone spits on each other? Fists the copy, and spit. Yeah, it sounds like there's going to be spit involved, which uh, that's, uh, that's going to beat my expectations. Mm. <laughs> Did you get that? I got that. Good shit. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Done? All done?